short. Oh, that's gone over cover. Has it gone all the way? One bounce for four. Nice touch from Ryder. He's looking in good form. Yeah, one bounce. Giving himself room. That's the old baseball shot. boundary motivated as well there we are it just got a bit big for Kane Williamson so Albie Morkel holds the catch for his brother and for once Williamson not in control of that delivery at all climbed and it was a bit close to the body yeah, sometimes uh, tonight I've noticed that the pace that shows up on our speed gun doesn't really reflect the way that some of these batsmen have been hurried up through their strokes. Definitely that got big on him, and it was on him before he could really get the hands free, and so all he could do was lob it up. So Williamson goes for six, 142 for four. Well, I think you're always under pressure when you come to the wicket, and the guys are firing it through quite quick, and it's bouncy. Right, it's hit that beautifully past third man. Well, he is in. He has got the pace of the pitch, and this is not an easy shot to play. Our rider is repaying the faith of those that selected him. And rightly so, he's in there. Look at the way they watched that and played it late. It was the bounce, and he got on top of the bounce. Well, he's hit one so high, it might never come down. This is huge. Oh, he spilled it. They could have run to that about sums it up tonight. Long Tong missed the run out, and now he misses the skyer. It went so high. It really did. That's out. Jesse goes. So uh, Jesse Ryder's initial part of his innings is very good. And the longer he went, his timing deserted him. And that was an option he obviously regrets because New Zealand are now under a bit of pressure to go on and complete the deal here. Ryder, a bit cute, trying to get it fine past A.B. de Villiers and down to the boundary. Just scooped it very easily into the hands of uh, Mornay Morkel. Yes, Johan Borta. What's well, a personal victory for that as Ryder goes for 52. A good hand in the context of this match. 158 for five. Straight down the ground, one bounce. Further in behind it. That was the one that perhaps could have gone a long way. It was a half volley. I hit this very well. That's good. Very good indeed. Good pace. Good width. Yeah, this is risk and reward this from the fast bowler. Bang it in. Got to make contact here. That's out. That is out. So McCullum trying to work it down fine. Just lobs it straight to A.B. de Villiers. And there's a horrible gurgling sound of the New Zealand camp. Well, well, well. Well, everything the Black Cap batsmen try now does not work for them. Got him in the gloves, lobbed up in the air. Look at that from the captain. Can he pull this one off? It'll be one of the biggest chokes you'll ever see in a game of cricket if he does. McCallum, he can't make a difference. He's out for naught. 160 for six. Six from three now. Oh, Doug, it's gone straight up. He's going to be out too. Hashimamla's underneath it. He won't drop it. He will not drop it. In the end, it's threatened to get away, but he held on to it, and now South Africa are odds on to win. How the heck has this happened? The nerves, after what happened a few overs before, the nerves all around the ground there, all around the ground in the field. Oh, the hearts would have been in hands, the hearts would have been sitting up there in the throat, says this one went up, it was another sky, but Amla, the experience, the class he has, just holds on to it. Oh, he just held on to it, now they're checking the front foot, no ball, not a problem there, not a problem at all, that is certainly spot on there and yes look how far he had to stretch the arms out as the ball threatened to get away from him but they have done enough it seems James Franklin the only good news is that James Franklin will be on strike to try and win the game 
something lucky. Here we go, last ball. Beautifully bowled. It's a no ball. It's been called a no ball. South Africa think they've won. They have not. Go back, boys. Go back. Front foot, no ball. Unbelievable. Let's have a look. He's over. He's got to have something behind that line. What was he thinking? What was the lawyer thinking? Saudi misses. And South Africa have stolen it. They have stolen this game from nowhere. And New Zealand are rocked back. And what will this do for their confidence? A rare opportunity to beat the Proteas has gone begging. And uh, McCullum was taken as well with uh, audacious shots, tough options. New Zealand were left in all sorts of uh, bother, really. And Umla, you should uh, make mention of the very, very good catch off a steepler from Doug Bracewell. Peterson won for 34. DeLonga ends up being the hero. He had three overs, none for 33. Four overs, two for 36. He got two for three in that last most important over. Albie Morkel, none for 13. Mornay Morkel, two for 31. Both are a heady last over from him. And he went for just five runs per over on a small ground with, uh, you know, dimensions that you can pick off a spinner. Two for 20 for him. Parnell, none for 14. And Dumini, none for nine from his two overs. So the summary, South Africa 165 to 7. We thought they were around 20 runs short in the end. They had three runs too many, but that's because New Zealand seriously let this one go. South Africa, they tried to give it away at times, but they won by three runs and they won the series 2 to 1.